Okay, your standard Subaru timing tensioner. Okay, this is what this bad boy looks like. Okay, what you have is your actual roller with your bearing in there. This bolt is tightened in there, don't unloosen it. All right, and then you have your bolt that actually secures it to the block, which is this guy, which is a 14 millimeter. Now, when you take these off, you may find a little random O-ring that's just kind of chilling after you pull it out. That is to make sure that it all stays together. I don't know if you can actually make that out, but that's your standard timing tensioner. So what we have to do is we have to compress this little bad boy into it. And if you can see, there's actually some holes that are made for lining it up. If you can see, there's a hole right there, a hole there, and then also on the back side there's a hole. Okay, and what we use is typically what's called a grenade pin. Any new timing belts or timing kits come with these. If not, you can usually make one out of a uh, some sort of bobby pin or a paper clip, but as you can see, it's just a circular metal ring. And what we're going to do is we're going to get that, and we're going to take any type of vise, and we're going to get some tension put on that little piston and then we're going to start to bring her in. Now what this is is a hydraulic tensioner so this is actually hydraulically pressurized so essentially there's a little hydraulic piston that's in there that's what that is and it uses pressure built up to actually create tension. And what we're going to do is gently don't try and ram it in there really quickly it's going to make your life a little bit more painful and we're going to stick the pin into the outside hole make sure your direction is correct like I was not trying to do <laughs> All right, so back to what I was saying here. As you can see, I have my hole right here, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to stick it into the hole and wait for the piston to come in. And slowly and gently, just allowing the pressure to actually equalize. We don't want to ram it in there too much because we can always take the chance of blowing out a piston. I have had it happen before, so take my word on it. If not, you can experience it on your own, and then you can go buy a new tensioner. But once you get it in there, it just kind of goes right in, nice and easy, as you can see. I can literally just drop it. And then once we get the back hole lined up, bada bing. And then we undo it, and this is what you're stuck with, okay? The piston, as you can see now, is collapsed in, and it's held in place by what they call the, I, we call it the grenade pin in the garage, so. And that's essentially how you uh, reset your timing chain tension, or your timing belt tensioner.